Hey guys, Matt Lady here. Uh, I so I made my Atlas Passage video like five days ago, which was after patch notes, so it should have been good. However, since then they've changed a bunch of stuff and released all the scarabs. Kind of begs the question: Why the fuck am I even making videos before a league launch when all this information changes? But I digress. So we have three different trees I made now. That was a lot of flashing. This is uh, my tree progression. So like day one tree. You know, or I should say tree one, tree two, tree three, as far as how I unlock and progress through things. Is it possible that by the time I unlock these trees or I move on, I have more or less points than these spots? Yes, it's possible, but the gist of it is that after seeing the scarabs, and I'll explain why, and after the Atlas tree points have been adjusted with various updates to the patch notes, things are a little bit different. So, tree one is my starting weekend tree. The tree is focused on Kirik map drops in essence that's it um after seeing the essence scarabs which i guess i could show real quick okay so the basic scarab for essence the, uh, or loosely assuming the rarity is in this order of progression as in this is the most common this is the most rare we have additional essences essences are a higher tier um remnants can only result in upgrading or transforming which is that's kind of the most mediocre one and the last one being all rares are imprisoned essence which is very good but these first two which we should get fairly commonly are quite strong and you can move use multiple of this first one the second ones so the idea is you would unlock your your fourth your fifth uh slot in your map device put in three of these and one of these and all the essences which you'll be spawning in multitudes will be much higher that plus the tree equals really good stuff these kirk nodes actually got updated so <clears throat> no longer does this say a mission a day this has just been changed to six percent all of these ones have become twos so the Kyrick rate is actually kind of ridiculous right now. It is, oh yeah, the 13 is now at 26. 26% 26 chance when you finish a map, you get a Kyrick mission. Right, exactly. So that plus scouting reports means you could fill your Atlas super fast, I think. And then getting things like shaping the skies, shaping the mountains, skittering swarm for some additional scarabs. And then again, the essence nodes just for as many map essence and scarab stuff as I can. Crystalline carapace for the extra essences. That's the first tree. That's what I'm running for my, my beginning tree. I just want to get the Atlas set up. So that to me makes the most sense. This is pre-bossing Atlas set up. <clears throat> so trying to focus on getting like 115 done. That's what I'm doing for that. All right. So second tree. So I also made these so they're kind of progression wise. They make sense pathing. So you don't have to spend a bunch of unmaking. So tree two still has essence. Drops to Kyrick stuff. Swaps into Ghosted Exiles and Incursion. Because now we're focusing on farming gear. And... On top of that, there's the added part of destructive play for mavening and thorough explanation for wisping. <clears throat> so thorough explanation, uh, exploration makes it so there's 50 or fewer mobs, the bosses are wisped. That stacks with destructive play, so all the bosses would be wisped, okay? This also stacks with unrelenting torment, so if you hit the 10% chance, all those ghosts will go into the bosses. Extremely rippy, I imagine, but if done in a lower tier map, uh, could be pretty interesting. Incursion and Scarabs are really good for getting gear, much with Ghosted Exiles. Again, we look at these, the Scarab section here. Totally different bag. First Scarab, worthless. Second one is just great for juice, but the third one is really, really nice for MFing and that sort of juice stuff, making all the mobs magic. And the last one drops entire itemized layouts. Anarchy is really interesting here, if I'm not blind. Okay, there we go. Um, four additional exiles, again, all of which will be ghosted, most of which will have pairs. This one makes it so they all, half of them appear in pairs, which stacks the tree very, very high. This one makes it so they have giant rogue exiles. When you kill the giants, they fractal out, so that's pretty cool. Torment is additional ghost. This, I don't really like that too much, but the replace with the usual variants is pretty strong, and there's a chance to be set free is pretty shit, but the first two are okay, and first two of these are okay, so that's my focus for those sort of things there. Again, getting gearing is this is this the whole stage here is just gearing, um, burning maps and gearing, and then yeah, that's about it. So it's just a bunch of really good incursion essence, ghost of exiles, trying to get missing uniques for builds, unique maps, fill out stuff. Third, <coughs> third tree. All right, so this last one is focusing on min maxing gear more. I'm using ritual with the ritual scarabs uh, in conjunction uh, with incursion still and some. Some ghost stuff, not really, just, just keeping Seance for the most part. And then we're also transitioning into doing Betrayal, 
uh, just to get, again, all specific Veiled mods, Veiled orbs, working on, like, four or five mod desirable gear. Then some uh, Exarch, sorry, Eater for just, like, Alter Juicing. There's a lot of really cool Scarabs. Um, if we look at Betrayal and Ritual. So Betrayal ones are extra intelligence per zone. This means when you have the right setups at rank three people plus the tree, this is enough to get one mastermind per zone, which is crazy if you finish safe houses per zone. Um, also just getting much more accompanied for reinforcements when mixed the tree. I think Geek was up to 15 betrayal members in an area, which is crazy. Last one's kind of shit, so that doesn't really matter. And then the ritual ones are crazy, actually. So, like, the ritual ones give you re-rolling, has no, has no cost the first two times, stacks twice the first four times, and we get two extra re-rolls. So plus the tree, this means we end up seeing six pages, of which the first five are free, which is crazy. So that plus more tribute and that plus more favor. You know, the favor one's whatever, but like just more tribute, you know, so for uniques, again, that counts for exiles, etc. So yeah, super, super good, I think, for ritual there. So I'll be focusing on that for finding like specific synth bases, higher tier uniques, um, smart rolled gear, clusters, fractured items, that sort of thing. So I think ritual is really strong as a final tree. Um, that's about it. That's the TLDR. Again, tree one, Kyrick Essence maps, get ourselves set up. Tree two is going to be uh, Essence still with Ghosted Exiles and Accursion, focusing on just getting unique gear I'm missing. For my build specifically, things like Cloak of Defiance at Series Foible should not be problematic when I'm farming like even tier six maps or something or thorough exploration. Again, if you decide to farm lower maps, you just drop Destructive Play. You don't need it because if you're not, you're not doing like red map rotations, it doesn't really do anything for you. But yeah, just imagine a, a Wisp boss that has, you know, a bunch of ghosts in them that has Juice Quant. So it seems really good. The last tree, Betrayal, Ritual, Incursion. Um, focusing on that plus a little bit of altar work. If you prefer a certain altar, like for some for if you just want to do Elder, you know, uh, Exarch versus Eater, just whatever one you prefer. I just like Eater. I feel like it has less detrimental mods. And if that's the case, um, you might just want to drop Test of Loyalty, drop this whole chunk. And then just move it over here, and that's totally fine too. Uh, we don't know when we get pages two and three for our Atlas presets, so if that's the case, I might have to invest more in the first tree. Um, if that's a problem, that's a problem. If not, I could just go for intelligence gathering, something like that. But uh, yeah, that's it. Those are my three Atlas trees. After seeing the Scarabs and after seeing the patch changes, League comes out tomorrow. So if they change more shit, Lord help me. I don't know what what to do, but there's a uh, no shortage of cool Atlas strategies to do. I'm sure I'll be swapping to multiple trees as time goes on. If you want to hear us talk about Scarabs for like two hours, the podcast just went out, the Plus One podcast with myself, Manny, and Leggy. We go in depth with a lot of different uh, Scarab strategies. We literally go through the entire Scarab list, which is the most important thing in this entire patch, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, we get to see like, you know, talk about different combinations of things that work, different fun interactions, and maybe inspire you to make your own trees or pick what you want to invest into. So that's that. I'll see you guys for... Necropolis launch 3.24. I'm at Letty and uh, have a good day.